Hello and welcome to SolidWorks Tutorials from Designing Made Easy. In this video, I'm going to design a pyramid in SolidWorks. A lot of people get confused with the design process of a pyramid. Instead of using simple steps, they go around using many features for the design. For this design, I'm going to use three to four simple steps. First, I'm going to choose a plane for the design. This time, I'm choosing top plane. Here, I'm going to create a rectangle and then I'm going to change it into a square using span dimension. I want this to be 55 mm and this will be 55. So now we have a perfect square which is fully defined on the top plane. And we are not going to do anything to this square right now so I'm going to exit the sketch. After this, I need to create a plane which is parallel to top plane. To do that, I'm going with the reference here and then selecting plane. For the first reference, I'm going to select top plane. You can do that by expanding this over here and selecting the top plane. Once you select the top plane, you need to give some distance over here. I already set this distance to 55 mm. You can change it as per your requirement. If you want it to be 45, you can change it to 45. But for this design, I want it to be 55 so that it looks even. And I'm going to click OK because we have a plane parallel to the top plane. And that is at a distance of 55 mm. Now I need to create a point. To create a point again, I'm going with this option over here, which is under features tab and then selecting point. Under entities, reference entities, we have plane one, the plane which we just created. And then we need to select a point and that point is going to be the center point. And once you click on the center point here, you can see the projection on this plane. And automatically the SOLIDWORKS will select this projection option over here. Click on OK. Right now we have a point and a plane. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use Lofted Bosser Base feature now. So I'm clicking on Lofted Bosser Base feature and under Profiles we need to select this profile and the point. But as you can see we don't have a point here, it is hidden. If your point is hidden, what you can do is click on this I button over here and then select point that will unhide the point. Now select the point and profile under profiles over here and click on OK. I'm going to hide this point here and the plane. So we have a solid pyramid over here. You can check the part by selecting section view. As you can see, it's a perfect solid. Close the section view and I'm going to go to isometric view again. So using these simple steps, you can create a pyramid in SOLIDWORKS. If you like what you're learning here, consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye bye.